I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the red mulberry. Red mulberry, Morris rubra, is in the Moraceae family, which is a large family with more than 1,850 species, which are mostly found in warmer regions in the world. There are only two species of Morris or mulberry native to the United States, red mulberry and Texas mulberry. Red mulberry is often confused with the non-native invasive white mulberry. It is a deciduous tree that ranges in height from 15 to 70 feet tall and up to 20 inches in diameter. Trees can live up to 125 years. It tends to have a rounded crown with a short trunk. The wood is not commercially important due to its size and lack of abundance, but red mulberry's fruit is of value because um, it's eaten by people, birds, and small mammals. Red mulberry is native to the eastern half and to mid the Midwest of the United States, from New York, south to Florida, and west into Texas and Kansas. It grows on a wide variety of sites, including moist, well-drained soils of coves and floodplains, field borders, and pastures, and it tolerates a wide range of soil pH. It grows best in the open, but is often an understory tree and is somewhat shade tolerant. This species attains its largest size in the Ohio River Valley and reaches its highest elevation in the southern Appalachian foothills. Red mulberry can hybridize with the non-native white mulberry throughout its range. Red mulberry is deciduous with alternately arranged simple leaves, as you can see in the photo. The leaves are somewhat circle, circular or oval in shape and highly variable. Some leaves have no lobes and others have numerous lobes. They are typically three to five inches long and have serrated leaf margins. They are green above and the surface is somewhat rough like fine sandpaper and the underside is paler and somewhat fuzzy. Autumn color is yellow to golden yellow, and the leaves of white mulberry, which is the one it's often confused with, tend to be smaller and they have a smooth, shiny surface is the easiest way to tell them apart. This species is usually dioecious, which means there are separate male and female trees, but can occasionally be monoecious with male and female flowers on different branches of the same tree. The male flowers are in hanging catkins that are about one to two inches long, and the smaller female flowers are also in catkins. Both male and female flowers bloom in late spring and are wind pollinated. The fruit resembles a blackberry. It's cylindrical in shape and about one to one and a quarter inches long, and it's composed of multiple droops. Each droop contains a small seed. The fruit starts out greenish white and ripens to dark purple in summer. Fruit sometimes falls near the tree, but is usually consumed before becoming completely mature by fruit-loving animals who then disperse the seeds after they have passed through their digestive tracts. Trees can begin producing fruit at 10 years of age with best fruit production between 30 and 85 years. Trees typically have good seed crops every two to three years. The bark is often orangish in color on young trees, and as the tree ages, the bark darkens to a grayish brown with irregular, long, scaly ridges, and the inner bark is tough and fibrous. The wood is relatively weak with a golden brown to reddish brown heartwood and pale yellowish sapwood. It is similar in, in appearance to Osage orange wood. It is ring porous with large early wood pores, the wood that's formed in the spring, and small late wood pores, the wood that's formed later in the summer. It is rated as durable to insect resistance and weather properties. Red mulberry is a valuable wildlife tree. Many animals consume its delicious, abundant fruit, including possums, raccoons, squirrels, bluebirds, indigo buntings, gray catbirds, towhees, mockingbirds, and numerous other fruit-loving birds. The twigs and foliage are often browsed by white-tailed deer, and the bark is consumed by beaver. It is also a host plant for the red admiral and the morning cloak butterfly. Red mulberry is seldom harvested for its timber due to its small size and its scattered distribution. It is used for smaller pieces in carving and wood turning or for fence posts and farm implements. It is also better known for its fruit, which is used to make jams, jellies, pies, and beverages. It is also occasionally planted for its fruit and as an ornamental. 
The national champion red mulberry as of 2021 is in Ashley, Arkansas. It is 305 inches in circumference, 75 feet tall, with a 71-foot crown spread. Currently, there isn't a Kentucky champion listed as of 2021. If you'd like to know more about national champion trees, check out American Forest National Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Red mulberry is often confused with the invasive and now naturalized white mulberry, which is a native of Asia but was introduced to the U.S. during colonial times to try to establish the silkworm industry here. The leaves of the white mulberry are the primary food source for the silkworm, whose cocoon is used to produce silk. Raising silkworms is very involved, and the worms are very sensitive to changes in temperature and humidity, which made sericultural challenging and expensive, thus limiting silk production in the United States. Now for a few fun facts about red mulberry. In 1607, early English colonists mentioned red mulberry due to the abundance of the delicious fruit. Native Americans, including the Choctaw, wove clothing from the inner bark of the young red mulberry trees, and they also used other parts of the tree to make warming medicines and a remedy for dysentery. It was reported in Arkansas that more than 31 species of birds visited red mulberry trees to eat the fruit. The scientific genus name Morris is from the ancient Greek name Mora, the mulberry tree, and the species name Rubra is from the Latin which means red and most likely refers to the fruit. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, a local park, or neighborhood and enjoy the beautiful trees of our state and maybe get to sample some of the red mulberry fruit.